everybody, it's you guys, Alicracy here. How are you guys going today? I am very hot right now. It is hot in Melbourne, Australia. I'm sorry for some of you guys. I am ready for some cool weather to come. Whew. In today's video, we're actually going to be doing a Q&A. I asked you guys on Twitter what questions you wanted to ask me and a lot of you guys have asked some questions. So I'll just pick a few and I'll answer them and hopefully we can get to know each other a little bit better. All right, so first question that I always get asked, which I will cover for those of you guys who already know the answer to this and who've been watching for a long time, I apologize that I always answer this question. This question is, where did you get the name Deligracy from? Deligracy is a name I made up. It was a name I made up when I was eight years old. I was writing a storybook for school about a magical girl who could travel to all the lands and I wanted a creative name for her. So I opened up a dictionary. I picked three different words pulled out syllables from them and put them together and it made the name Deligracy. There's a plane going past. Weird. I don't remember what those words were, unfortunately, but yeah, Deligracy is what, what came from them. And funnily enough, my real name, Madeline, has Deli in it. So it's kind of like Deligracy was always there. It's beautiful. Do you still flex your design muscles even though you're a full-time YouTuber and streamer? Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I have a degree in graphic design. I studied to be a graphic designer and I just luckily got into YouTube. I unfortunately don't really do any graphic design for anyone else anymore. I just don't have the time. There's not enough hours in the day. I will do things for friends like little invitations and stuff like that. And I do all of my own graphics except for my Twitch emotes. Mostly a no, sometimes yes. What's your exercise routine, especially at home ones? My exercise routine consists of a little bit of gym and a little bit of home exercise, although I haven't been really good at it recently. So at the gym, I do body attack classes by Les Mills. Les Mills classes are global. A lot of you guys will have done the classes. Body attack is pretty full on. Um, however, if you are a beginner, if you're not that fit, you can still do a body attack class. You just go at your own pace. So it actually works really, really well because you can do your own thing. I definitely recommend it if you are able to jump around and you know get your cardiovascular health up. It's a really good way to do that. And it, it's changed up every class, so it's really fun. The other thing I do is some at-home circuits. Now, the circuits I do, they're quick and easy to do with only a few weights and a mat. Either Pat, my boyfriend, will write out a circuit for me and we'll do it together, which is really handy to do it with someone. Otherwise, I also have a PDF circuit that I bought from an Instagram personal trainer. His name is... Body by Giles, that's G-I-L-E-S, and he's the partner of an Australian model called Tash Oakley. So I saw her and I was like, oh my God, I wish I looked like her. And then I was like, oh my God, her boyfriend's a personal trainer. I mean, it's pretty damn good marketing, but I gotta say, the circuits are really good. So I enjoy it a lot. I also go out and do like a jog run when I can too, but at the moment it's been so hot and muggy, I haven't really enjoyed that at all. If you could make your own Sims for Neighborhood Town, what would it be called and what would the theme be? I would make Deliville and it would look like, it would be a beach town, maybe like a beach island town because we don't have that yet. And yeah, beach vibes, lots of cliffs ho cliff houses. I would have lots of lots and big lots. You would be able to edit the terrain. That's what I would do. Welcome to Deliville. It'd have a big Hollywood sign that says Deliville on the cliffs. Oh my god, that's genius. If a Sims team were making a Sims 5 and asked you for your input, what would the most important thing to include for you? What would be the most important thing to include for you? Uh, honestly, I think it would be online multiplayer. I think that's what is needed for Sims 5. Now, I think it's important that you can play by yourself as well. And I think it's important that the current game isn't jeopardized. Like I don't want to be dumbed down to an online multiplayer game by any means, but I want that addition. I think it would be so cool. And a lot of people believe that The Sims 4 was meant to be multiplayer online. So there's a bit of a conspiracy about that. Hi Deli, I don't want to ruin the mood, but have you ever dealt with mental health problems? I'm going through a tough time right now and you're really helping me, so this is kind of on my mind a lot lately. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you're dealing with um, mental health issues. 
I definitely like so many people. I think two thirds of people in their life will deal with mental health issues at some point. So it's super common. I deal with anxiety all the time. Like my anxiety can be very severe and it's a real soul drainer. Like it is awful. If you haven't experienced it, you're really lucky and it's just important to be there for others. Um, but it's kind of like my life's biggest obstacle right now, probably. It is the most difficult thing I deal with at the moment. And whilst it is really challenging at times, I definitely like totally recommend you do not try to deal with it by yourself. You need to have the support of someone, whether that be a professional, if you don't want to talk to friends or family, or if you're close with friends or family and you don't want to go to a professional yet then just speak to one of those guys if you feel safe and you can trust them. Yeah, it's just like, it sucks, but you know, we're not alone. There's so many people who deal with it and it doesn't make you crazy at all. Like it's totally normal. So yes, yes, I have dealt with mental illness issues and I still have anxiety. Although this is really weird. I don't think I've ever spoken to you guys about this, but there is a lot of research that mental health issues come from a lot of the time damage to your gut. A lot of people who have anxiety or depression have food allergies and I never got anxiety until I had a terrible, terrible stomach bug. So I actually believe mine started from my gut, an unhealthy gut, which, you know, some people are like, no, and some people think, well, there's a lot of research out there. You have more chemicals in your stomach, I think, than your brain. So makes sense to me. Or at least there's a lot in your stomach. What was your favorite family in The Sims 1? Uh, my favorite family was the Goths and the Goth house. I loved that house in Sims 1. Sims 2, I loved the Pleasant twins. I loved them so much. I played them a lot. Sims 3, I don't know. Sims 3 and 4, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. What's your favorite cafe where you live? Uh, there's a cafe kind of close to me called Touchwood. It's in Richmond and it's my favorite. They have the best breakfast bowl with like quinoa and almonds and i know that sounds like so healthy but i usually don't get breakfast salads but this one is mm, so good it has like yogurt and spice in it Ooh, delicious what is your favorite animal i love wombats i love wombats they're so damn cute they have the cutest butts oh my god and waddle when they walk and guess what they sit on their prey and threats they just sit on them i say sit on those haters when brushing your teeth, do you brush the top row first or the bottom row? Uh, definitely, I go in for the bottom row. I get right in there, you know what I'm saying? And I brush those teeth right at the back. Uh, none of this top row, like, mm, first. You gotta get right in there. Top booty workout tips. I am not like a fitspo person. I am really not that fit or toned or anything. Um, but my top booty workout, like, come on. It's gotta be squats and lunges. Squats, lunges that's gonna make your booty big. And if you sit down a lot, I swear your butt gets bigger. And then if you sit down a lot and do squats and lunges, I swear it lifts it up. Don't quote me on that. What's your favorite video you've ever filmed? I think the video I love the most and that I go back and watch sometimes is my final Twins LP episode, the last episode. It had like a machinima, well not really machinima, but like a scene in it that I was really proud of. Yeah, I, I really loved that. And I loved all of your reactions to it. How long do you see yourself continuing this career? What age do you consider yourself ready for marriage and kids? Is Pat moving in on the table? Uh, well, first of all, this career, YouTube, Twitch, you know, I don't know how long this goes for. I think this is a really risky career to have, but at the same time, a really exciting and rewarding career to have. So I don't know where it's gonna take me, but I'm willing to take that chance and just do what I love, which is, you know, hanging out with you guys and making content for you guys. So I will do it for as long as I can. In terms of marriage and kids, I'm definitely not ready for marriage or kids right now or really anytime soon. I'm definitely quite a few years away from that. Is Pat moving on the table? It's way too soon to tell. I mean, I met Pat a year ago at a club <laughs> and we've been seeing each other probably officially for about seven months. So for me personally, that's too soon to think about marriage and kids and Pat, uh, but right now I'm really happy with him. So we'll see where it goes. What goals did you have when you first started your YouTube channel? Small goals, big goals, etc. I started YouTube 
firstly just to make friends. I had no friends who played The Sims and I've been obsessed with Sims my entire life. So I just had this massive need to meet you guys who liked Sims 2. And if I just had, you know, I think to begin with, I was like, it'd be really cool to have 10 friends who like The Sims. So if I had 10 people commenting on my videos, I was so happy because I was like, I have 10 people who like what I like and who are interested in me talking about it. So that's why I started. I mean, I guess each to their own, but I don't really understand how people start YouTube just to be famous or just to make money. I just feel like it's such a tricky platform to get onto and try and make money from. Like, I feel so lucky that this is my job and I don't recommend it as a job for other people just because it's so hard to get started. I mean, if that's what drives you and that's what makes you happy, then I guess you can do that. But for me, it was never that. And then gradually with stepping stones, I made new goals. So to start off with, it was like, I want to get to 100 subscribers. I want to get to 500 subscribers, 1,000, 2,000. 10,000 and then it went up and up and up. And now, yeah, I really want to get to a million. <laughs> of course, the goals get bigger and bigger, but I never aimed super high from the get go because for me, that would just make me really sad all the time. <laughs> I think it's really important to be realistic about goals, like still dream big, but be real realistic for what you can achieve. How are you feeling physically and mentally? I love you, Deli. Thank you, Ree. I love you too. Uh, okay, physically I'm feeling I have an exercise today. I had a big meal earlier, so I'm feeling a bit lazy. I've been sitting down a lot. So physically, I'm feeling lazy. Mentally, I'm feeling really good and a little bit tired. I'm just a little bit tired, but good. How many hours a week do you spend at your computer for work? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, what you guys see on the surface seems so easy and like dream job. Well, for a lot of you guys, it might be a dream job. It's certainly my dream job, but I tell you what, it takes a lot of work behind the scenes. So I'm at a computer for a huge amount of time. Uh, so I don't even know. It could be like, honestly, up to maybe like 50 hours a week, like a lot. Cause there have been weeks where every day I'll be at my computer for like 10 hours. So when you edit your videos, film your own videos, play games, settle it up yourself. It is very, very, very long days. If YouTube didn't pay you, would you still make amazing videos? Jack, I would definitely still make videos because for a long time I didn't get paid and it was a hobby. So I would definitely do that, but obviously I wouldn't have nearly as, as much, I wouldn't have nearly as much time to do that because I would have to have another job to, some, to support myself. So yeah, I would. And final question for today. What are your favorite girls names and boys names? I always love the names you pick. Yeah, thanks Elsie. Uh, apparently I have really bad taste in names. That's what a lot of people say to me, but hey, I don't care. I love the name Astrid for a girl. Actually, a lot of people like the name Astrid. Astrid, I absolutely love. I love the name Aston for a boy. A lot of people are like, oh, that's so snobby. It's like Aston Martin. But no, I think of like Astro Boy, Aston, you know, Astrid. Oh, I love those names. Uh, I love the name Taj. It's pretty much my dream life names. <laughs> Aston, Taj, and I love the name Link. If any of you guys steal the name Link from me before I have a baby boy, I will seriously be not happy with you. Yeah, Link, I'm definitely naming my kid Link. The man in this relationship will have no choice. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little Q&A video. Give it a thumbs up if you did so I know to make more. Let me know in the comments down below any more video ideas you have or any of your answers to the questions that were asked today. It's always curious and interesting to see everyone's different perspectives on things and the different ways in which people live. So I definitely invite you to sound off in the comments down below, make a friend, say hey, and interact with others, yes. Anyway, you guys, as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon. I love you.